Hi, this is Michael Pena with Teams 1 0. Today we're here at the LA Fest Film and Entertainment Soccer Tournament, benefiting the Mia Ham Foundation and Grassroots Soccer. We're going to see some really cool people playing today. The first annual LA Fest Film and Entertainment Soccer Tournament brought together soccer greats with some of Hollywood's finest in order to raise money and awareness for two important charities, the Mia Hamm Foundation and Grassroots Soccer. The event featured plenty of fancy footwork and activities for the kids, as well as the young at heart, with all proceeds going to charity. One special moment occurred at halftime, when bone marrow and cord blood recipients met the donors who helped them get well for the first time. It brought to light the value and importance of getting tested to be a donor, a painless process. All in all, it was a great success, and we were fortunate enough to get a chance to talk with several notable names. Hi, we're here with Mia Hamm. So tell us about today's event. Well, we're here at LA Fest. In combination with that, uh, we're doing a kids' futsal tournament. So Film and Industry is doing their, uh, I think it's 5v5 tournament. And then at the end of 4 o'clock in the tennis stadium, my husband and I are having um, our fifth annual here, uh, Mia Hamm's Nomar Garcia Para Celebrity Soccer Tournament. It's a lot to say, but um, <laughs> but we're excited. We, we've teamed up with uh, Ethan Zahn and Grassroots Soccer, and along with my foundation, um, hopefully raising a lot of money and awareness for good causes. Fun. Yeah. Now tell us about the Mia Hamm Foundation. Well, it, uh, it started in, in 1999 and uh, to help families who are going through uh, bone marrow and blood cord uh, cord blood transplants and also for girls in sports but um, it's yeah I had a brother who passed away after complications of a bone marrow transplant yeah. so we're just trying to help families uh, who are going through this fight and struggle um, by registering people in the National Bone Marrow Registry and also uh, at different places um, creating funds like here at Children's Hospital mm -hmm. LA uh, to help families who are going through this process. So could you introduce yourself to our audience? Um, I'm Julie Foudy. I played uh, on the U.S. women's team for a very long time, a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, and let me tell you, I felt every bit my age today. <laughs> so what was it like being inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame? That is a great question. And uh, it's incredibly special. It, it is, uh, you know, it's, it's something every soccer player um, from a young age talks about, dreams about, and then all of a sudden you retire and, and you're getting inducted into a Hall of Fame. So um, to go along some of the legends of the game and then actually I got to uh, be inducted alongside Mia at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it was myself and Mia uh, that went in as an all-female class. It was really, really neat. If you could go back in time and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? That's a good one. I, I would say uh, to not be so concerned about what everyone thinks of you. Mm -hmm. You know, I had short hair when I was younger. And, uh, and I, after soccer, I would look kind of like a boy. So, <laughs> and I didn't like that. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't like that, but I didn't like that. So I used to wear these hoop earrings that were like this big. <laughs> to be like, no, I'm really a girl, I just have short hair. Yeah. Um, that was a really awkward face. So, you, you know, like laugh at yourself a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Like, so what if they call you, it's okay, young man, you know? <laughs> when they say that, like, not take yourself so seriously, yeah. which is really hard when you're a teenager. Very but I wish hard. someone would have said, like, just laugh a little bit more at yourself. Because mm -hmm. I'm really good at that now. <laughs> Hi, we're here with Ethan Zahn, winner of Survivor Africa and co-founder of Grassroots Soccer. How you doing? I am a little tired, but <laughs> I'm extremely <laughs> happy to be here. Yeah. Now tell us about Grassroots Soccer. Well, Grassroots Soccer is an organization that I helped co-found with a couple of soccer buddies of mine, Dr. Tommy Clark, Kirk Friedrich, Matembe and Lovu, and we use the power of soccer in the fight against HIV and AIDS. So now tell us about your experience in Survivor Africa. Survivor Africa, oh, I can't even remember that long ago. <laughs> you were probably, you know, in your mother's womb when I was on the show, but I will still, I'll refresh your memory. We filmed in um, uh, the Shaba National Reserve in Kenya. And for me, uh, a life-changing experience, you know, not only being out there with, you know, in the elements, but, you know, one of the benefits of winning a show called Survivors, you get money. <laughs> and you get a million bucks. So I helped uh, use that money to start Grassroots Soccer. Well, now tell us about this ball. 
So this is the socket and it was created by the organization Uncharted Play. And so there's about 1.3 billion people in the world who live without electricity. So this is a socket, it's a regular soccer ball. Kids, they can play around with it, kick it around, and uh, they'll be able to capture energy while they're kicking it around, take the soccer ball inside their homes, connect any LED light, and it provides a light. So just 30 minutes of play provides three hours of electricity to a family. How are you doing? I'm James Ortega, co-founder of Futboleros. You know what's Futboleros? Futboleros means soccer players yeah. in English. And we are a soccer entertainment company. It travels all over the country. We're head of entertainment for the LA Galaxy. And we are like similar to the Harlem Globetrotters. And how did you guys get started? You know what, it was all based on a video that I created five years ago on teaching kids how to do tricks, give them some other kind of avenue of, well, if they don't become pro soccer players, they have something else to do. Yeah. And I found a bunch of guys right here. Let's show them what we can do, shall we? Awesome. All at the same time, here we go. Ready? Yep. And this is what you're gonna get right here. If you practice, practice is perfect, and as you know, Oops. When you're, you know, when you're out there, and you're not going to be the best player, but you can also definitely be a talented player. Yeah. And so we bring this into schools where you can actually, you know, it, let's say it's a little bullying thing, but you can show up by doing all this kind of stuff. I am currently representing Grassroots Soccer, which is helping with HIV and AIDS. Ethan Zahn is the founder, and he was a Survivor winner a few years back. And I'm playing against the Mia Hamm Foundation and also against Miss USA, my roommate. So <laughs> let's see who will win. She's also an all-time uh, All-American volleyball player. I've never played oh, wow. a sport. I'm really just not a sports girl. <laughs> I play the cello, so this will be funny. <laughs> well, tough competition. Yeah, tough competition, but I'll learn maybe a little. I don't know. And you're going to win? Of course. Miss Universe is here, Olivia. She's my roommate, and I'm going to kick her butt. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to win. And it's all for good cause. It's for supporting the Mia Hamm Foundation and grassroots soccer. So it's going to be a good game. Hey, I'm Clark Gregg. You might know me from the Avengers or something else. <laughs> now, what are you doing here today? Uh, I came here. Uh, this is my second time playing in this tournament because uh, Nomar and Mia asked. And I think it's an amazing charity, the um, Blood Marrow Registry. Yeah. You know, it's really important that people register and I'm, you know it's also a really fun day to play some ball. And now you're going to be working on SHIELD with Joss Whedon, right? I am, yeah. I am. You've done your homework. We just shot the pilot for uh, the yeah. SHIELD TV show with Joss and uh, we'll find out in a couple weeks if they're going to make a whole season of them. Tell us about what you're doing here today. Uh, I was trying to play football, <laughs> uh, but having fun and enjoying the opportunity to hear about the cause to to help and and to play soccer it's fantastic so tell us about chavez chavez is a, a film about cesar chavez uh, the civil rights leader uh, it's a it's a beautiful story that needs to be told and we've yeah. been working for four years and oh, wow finally it's going to be out this year so very happy nice congratulations and it has the other Michael Pena in it so <laughs> he's an ama yeah, amazing I'm I'm sure you are too <laughs> what's up everyone I'm Ethan Zahn winner of Survivor Africa and co-founder of Grassroots Soccer and you're watching Teens Want to Know hi this is Mia Hamm you're watching Teens Want to Know hi you're watching Teens Want to Know and we're the, the Fool Fool Arrows. Arrows. hi I'm Nana Merriweather Miss USA 2012 and you're watching Teens Want to Know Teens want to know, ask me! <laughs>